up guys, this is Dookie Shoes. Today we're going to play some Banished. Alright, so right there you can click on everything to just generate your name. I'm just going to choose my own. Dookie Land. Um, also too, you can do the same thing for your map seed. You can just regenerate your own. Since I've played so many times, I just pick this one all the time. Alright, so when you actually uh, create your map seed though, the top two terrain type and terrain size matter when you record that. So if you look one up on the internet, make sure you choose like the valley or the mountains correctly. Or else if you have the terrain size, the right size, you gotta choose that correctly as well. Um, I always just try to play in the larger settings. Fair, I don't never really do harsh disasters. I hate tornadoes and fires, so I just avoid those at all costs. <laughs> and then this is my starting conditions. Uh, I'm gonna be playing it hard. That's for medium, you can read the descriptions if you like in your own gameplay, and then easy, ugh, they give you everything for free pretty much. Alright, let's play it hard and let's give it a shot. So today's video is just starting it off, uh, pretty much I always put my like actual food supply farther away from the town to begin with. Um, it's normally just like you have to put it in the woods anyways, because the gatherer's hut, the hunting cabin, or slogging company and the herbalist thing, you might as well put those all the way out there. You're not going to be chopping down the tree supply at the beginning. Then I just put a bunch of little kind of like stockpiles just so that then they can ditch all their supplies, whatever they knock down close by. Uh, you don't really want all these guys to be traveling far because the more they walk, the more time they essentially waste. Uh, I pause a lot of my stuff when I'm also building just so I know where I'm putting it. I got a couple houses built now, so we're just trying to add on to this area. Uh, so I'm going to be building up, up to the north, just to put a trading post in. There we go, got another neighborhood going. Uh, it's growing, you gotta like separate them out, because obviously in like real world too, you don't want everyone stacked on top, or else it's not going to grow a little bit better. Also too, depending on like, which direction I may go, it'll be easier for them to get to their jobs or whatever else. Uh, even though I don't have any seeds, I just lay out my farms just so that people or my citizens know where they're kind of traveling or what they need to work around. Uh, I also have a lot of things paused so that then when I need to, I can just click it and unpause it instead of worry about dabbing and throwing in there. Yep, that's where I'm going to put it up. I always want to have your trading post near the water, obviously, because it won't let you post. Oh, there we go, we got my trading post up. Uh, now we're just going to be hoping for either some kind of meat like cattle and sheep. I'll take chickens, but I don't really care for them. Or else we're looking for someone that deposits seeds. Oh, there we go, we got some seeds now. If I remember correctly, I think they were squash we got first, but... Now we actually pay attention to moving up here. We're probably going to be building up a lot more houses. Above, like my wood cutters and all that stuff that's off to the right of the stockpiles. Uh, we're just trying to like, demolish all this to get actually like all my supplies and everything to actually kind of get there. Uh, yeah. But eventually we will hopefully have all that filled up with cattle and sheep. We got a little bit. those little buggers go man they just ravage like things when i was playing and like i came back and i like went to the bathroom came back and they just had the whole thing taken apart insane what they do once you get like hundreds of people too you it's it's easier than sometimes having them work in like the quarries or the minefield it's so much easier just savagely having like hundreds of citizens go out there and take apart the land Alright, well now it looks like it's all decapitated down. Um, we're gonna be eventually pulling it down once we have it all chopped down and bring it down to actually like the town so they don't have to travel all over the place when they want to build things. And you always want to pay attention, yep, if anything's coming into your trading post. Normally it'll pop up a little blue icon near your like bottom right toolbar. Well, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for more Banished. Uh, just gonna you know, see how you guys like it. Let me know in the comments and always subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.